So we're learning the book called, in Hebrew, it's called Shmuel Aleph. Here it's called Samuel 1. This is chapter 25 in the life and times of our king, 3,000 years ago. Some of the language here is a little bit stilted, but I understand that the uh, ways people spoke 3,000 years ago was not exactly like we speak today. The basic idea is we could come through easily and we could track the places too if we had a map, but that was our interest. Right now we're just looking to see the story of the life and times of our king. Number 25, and it said, And Samuel died. And all Israel gathered and lamented him. And they buried him in his house in Ramah. And David arose and went down to the desert of Paran. And there was a man in Maon whose possessions were in Carmel. And the man was very great, and he had 3,000 sheep and 1,000 goats, and he was while shearing his sheep in Carmel. Now, I know Carmel uh, is in the northern part of Israel, I believe. And the man's name was Nabal, Nava, and his wife's name was Abigail. And the woman was of good sense and a beautiful form. But the man was hard and of evil deeds, and he was a celibate. Now, I don't know what a calibite means. He's from the family of Caleb. And David, David, heard in the desert that Naval was shearing his sheep. And da David sent ten youths, and David said to the youth, Go up to Carmel, and you shall come to Naval, and greet him in my name. And you shall say, So shall you be living next year. And may be peace be to you, and peace to your household, and peace to all that is yours. And now I have heard that they are shearing for you. Now your sheep, your shepherds, were with us. We did not disgrace them, neither was anything missing to them all the time they were in Carmel. Ask your youth, and they will tell you. And may the youths find favor in your eyes, for we have come on a festive day. Give now what your hand will find for your servants and for your son, David. And David's youths came and spoke to Nabal, according to the, all these words in David's names, and they rested. And Nabal answered David's servants and said, Who is this David, and who is the son of Jesse? Nowadays, there are many slaves who break away each one from his master. Now shall I take my bread and my water and my meal which I have cooked for my shearers, and I shall give them to people of whom I know not, not I, the word is, I know not whence they are. People I don't know. And David's youth, youths turned around to their way, and returned and told him according to all these words. And David said to his men, Gird each man his sword. And they girded each man his sword. And David too, he girded his sword. And they went up after David, about four hundred men. And two hundred stayed with the luggage. And one youth of the youths told Abigail, the wife of Nabal, saying, Behold, David sent messengers from the desert to greet our master, and he drove them away. And the men are very good to us, and we were not disgraced, nor was anything missing to us all the time we went with them when we were in the field. Now, thinking about this also, this parenthetically, this is Baruch speaking, that when you have an army of 400 men, or he had 600 men here, you have to feed those men. This is to be a big, big problem. So while you're moving around, you need help from the people on the side. And he came to Nava, going on. They were a wall over us, both mighty all day. All the time we were with them, pasturing the sheep. And now, know and see what you will do. For the evil has been decided upon us, against our master and against all of his household. And he is such a base person that one cannot speak to him. And Abigail hastened, and she took two hundred loaves and two 
two earthenware jugs of wine, and five prepared sheep, and five saw of flour, and roasted ears of corn, one hundred clusters of raisins, and two hundred cakes of figs, and she placed them on the donkeys. And she said to her youth, Go, go, go on ahead of me. Behold, I am coming after you. And she did not tell her husband Nava. And it was that she was riding on the donkey, and coming down under cover of the mountain, and behold, the vid and his men were coming down towards her. And she met them. And David said, Surely in vain have I watched all this fellow has in the desert, so that nothing was missing. In other words, he's saying that I was guarding for him. And there was nothing missing of all that he says. We never took anything, and he has returned me evil for good. So shall God do to David's enemies, and so shall he continue if I leave over all that he has, by the morning light, even one dog. Meaning, massacre. And Abigail saw David, and she hastened and leaned off the donkey. And she fell on her face before David, and prostrated, prostrated herself on the ground. And she fell at his feet, and she said, In me alone, my lord, is the iniquity. Now let your handmaid speak into your ears, and hearken to the words of your handmaid. Let me not, my lord, take heed of this base fellow of Novel, for like his name, so is he. Novel, and it's like the word, the Hebrew word, Nevela, which means a, a dead animal. He says, Novel is his name, and ungratefulness is with him. And I, your handmaid, did not see my lord's youth whom you sent. They came to him instead. And now, my Lord, as the Lord lives and by your life, I swear that the Lord has withheld you from coming to bloodshed and from saving yourself with your hand. And now may your enemies and those who see, speak, or seek evil to my Lord be as Nova. And now this gift which your handmaid has brought to my Lord shall be given to the youths who walk at my Lord's feet. Forgive now your handmaid's transgression, for the Lord shall make for my Lord a sure house. For my Lord fights the wars of the Lord of Hashem Yudbarah Yisbarah, and let no evil be found in you all your days. And the man has arisen to pursue you and to seek your soul, but my Lord's sure soul shall be bound in the bundle of life with the Lord of your God while the sore of your enemies, the Lord will sling it with the hollow of the sling. And it will be, will be when the Lord will do to my Lord according to all the good which he spoke concerning you, and he will appoint you as ruler over Israel. Let this not be to you as a stumbling block and, and, and remorse of heart to my Lord that you have shed blood without cause, that my Lord has avenged himself, and when the Lord will do good to my Lord, you shall remember your maidservant. David said to Abigail, Blessed is the Lord God of Israel, who has sent you towards me on this day. Blessed is your advice, and blessed be you who have restrained from me this day from coming into bloodshed and from avenging myself with my own hand. And indeed, as the Lord God of Israel lives, who has restrained me from harming you, I swear that you had not had you, that had you not hastened and come towards me, there would not have been left to novel until daybreak even one dog. And David took from her hand that which she had brought him and he said to her go up in peace to your house see that i have hearkened to your voice and have shown you favor navi guile came to novel and behold he had a feast in his house like the feast of the king and the vels ha novel's heart was merry within him and he was very drunk and she did not tell him anything less or more more or less until daybreak. 
and it was in the morning, when the wine had left Nabal, that his wife told him these things. And his heart died within him, and he became like stone. It was just ten days after that the Lord inflicted a stroke on Nabal, and he died. And David heard that Nabal had died, and he said, Blessed is the Lord who has judged the cause of my reproach from the hand of Nabal and restrained his bondsmen from evil, and returned Novel's evil upon his own head. David sent and spoke concerning Abigail to take her to him for a wife. And David's, David's servants came to Abigail to Carmel and spoke to her, saying, David has sent us to you to take you to him for a wife. And she arose. She rose and prostrated herself upon her face to the ground. And she said, Behold, your bondswoman is a slave to wash the feet of my Lord's servant. And she hastened and mounted the donkey with her five maidens who went with her. And she went after David's messengers and became his wife. And David took Abinohah, he know him for he is real, and they both came, became his wives as well. And Saul had given his daughter Michal to Palti, the son of Laish, who was from Galim. As the story continues, the life and times of our king, King David.